Consider the chilling fact that a single tiger claimed the lives of an estimated 436 people. A terrifying reality, isn't it? This is not a tale spun from the threads of horror fiction, but a harsh truth etched into the annals of history. The beast in question, the infamous Champawat tiger, the most prolific man-eater of its kind in recorded history. This tiger's reign of terror was not confined to the wilderness, but extended into the heartlands of human civilization. Its hunting grounds spanned two countries, lurking in the shadows of Nepal, before making its way to the Kumaon area of India. The mere whisper of its presence sent shivers down the spine, igniting a primal fear that resonated across continents. This is a story of a predator unlike any other, a tale that blurs the line between fear and fascination. Now brace yourself as we delve into the story of this fearsome beast. To understand this extraordinary predator, we need to go back to its early days. Born in the lush, verdant wilderness of Nepal, our tiger was not always the notorious man-eater that history remembers. Like any other tiger, it was once a playful cub, frolicking under the watchful eyes of its mother, learning the art of survival in the unforgiving jungle. This tiger's habitat was a dense jungle kingdom teeming with potential prey. Swift deer, hefty wild boars and the occasional sloth bear. It was a land where the law of the fittest reigned supreme. For a time our tiger was among the fittest, a master of stealth and strength. However, life in the wild is unpredictable and fraught with danger. Speculation suggests that a debilitating injury may have set the course of this tiger's life towards an unprecedented path. Imagine, if you will, a powerful beast brought low by a misstep, a fall, or a territorial dispute gone awry. A damaged jaw, perhaps, or a broken leg. A wound that would make hunting its usual prey an insurmountable challenge. In the face of starvation, the tiger had to adapt or perish, and adapt it did. Humans, slower and weaker than the usual prey, became an attractive alternative. A dangerous precedent was set, and the tiger discovered an easier path to survival. The birth of a man-eater had occurred, a transformation driven by necessity and survival. As the body count rose, fear swept through the tiger's territory. The once revered beast was now seen as a menace, a creature to be feared and hunted. The tiger was expelled from its home, driven out by the very beings it had begun to prey upon. After being driven from Nepal, the tiger found a new hunting ground, the Kumaon area of India. Here it would carve a bloody legacy, a reign of terror that would echo through the annals of history. But that is a tale for another time. The tiger's arrival in Kumaon marked the beginning of a reign of terror. The landscape of Kumaon, once a peaceful haven, became a stage for the tiger's horrifying performances. The silence of the night was often punctuated by the chilling roars of the beast, its dreadful symphony echoing through the valleys, a constant reminder of the lurking danger. This was no ordinary predator. The tiger had developed an uncanny knack for human hunting, a gruesome testament to its adaptability. It was cunning, stealthy, and most alarmingly patient. It would stalk its prey, often for hours, blending seamlessly with the thick foliage, its stripes a perfect camouflage against the dappled sunlight filtering through the dense canopy. The villagers lived in perpetual fear, their lives dominated by the presence of this man-eater. The once bustling marketplace turned desolate, and the vibrant festivities were replaced with hushed whispers and fearful glances. The tiger had not just invaded their land, but their minds as well, casting a dark shadow over their existence. And yet the tiger remained a phantom, a sinister whisper in the wind. Despite the best efforts of experienced hunters, it seemed to vanish into thin air each time they closed in. It was as if the creature possessed an otherworldly sense to anticipate danger and evade capture. This elusive nature only fueled the terror further, the unseen threat often proving more terrifying than the visible one. The tiger's reign was not just about its hunting prowess, but also its ability to instill fear and dictate the rhythm of life in Kumaon. It was a reign marked by dread and despair, a reign that saw a majestic creature transform into a nightmare. Despite numerous attempts to end its reign, the tiger remained elusive, its terror continuing unabated. 
The reign of terror was far from over, and the stage was set for more blood-curdling tales in the heart of Kumaon. In the end, it took the skill and determination of a single man to put an end to the terror. Enter the picture. Jim Corbett, a British hunter renowned for his ability to track and kill man-eaters. Having heard of the terror wrought by this fearsome tiger, Corbett arrived on the scene, a beacon of hope for the beleaguered locals. Corbett was not a man to rush into danger unprepared. He studied the tiger's habits, learned its hunting grounds, and planned his strategy. Corbett knew that this was no ordinary beast, but a cunning predator that had tasted human flesh and learned to outsmart its hunters. His initial attempts at hunting the man-eater were fraught with near misses and heart-stopping moments. The tiger was always one step ahead, disappearing into the dense undergrowth just as Corbett closed in. It was a game of cat and mouse where the mouse was a seasoned hunter and the cat a man-eating tiger. But Corbett was not one to be easily deterred. He was patient, resilient and above all, he understood his adversary. He knew that the tiger was old and injured, relying on human prey because it was easier to catch, and so he used this knowledge to his advantage. One can imagine the tension in the air as Corbett finally cornered the tiger, the hunter and the hunted locked in a deadly standoff. Every sound was magnified, every movement a potential trigger for the fatal attack. But Jim Corbett held his ground, his finger steady on the trigger. And then, the moment of truth. A single shot rang out, echoing through the silent forest. The reign of terror was over. The man-eating tiger, the beast that had claimed more human lives than any other in recorded history, lay dead at Corbett's feet. Corbett's triumph marked the end of the reign of the most prolific man-eating tiger in recorded history. His tale serves as a stark reminder of the fine line between man and beast, the hunter and the hunted, and the delicate balance that exists in the world of nature. The death of the Champawat tiger brought relief, but its legacy lived on. As the echoes of the final gunshot faded, a hush fell over the land. The terror that had gripped the hearts of the local communities for years had finally come to an end. Life slowly returned to its normal rhythm. But the memory of the man-eating tiger was etched deeply into the collective consciousness of the people. The Champawat tiger, even in death, served as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the devastating effects of human interference. Its reign of terror was the result of a broken dental condition, likely caused by a gunshot wound inflicted by a hunter. This injury forced the tiger to turn from its natural prey to the easier targets, humans. This story is a testament to the resilience of nature, even when pushed to its limits. The impact of the Champawat tiger's reign was far-reaching. It sparked a profound change in one man in particular, the hunter who brought an end to its reign, Jim Corbett. Corbett, initially celebrated for his hunting prowess, began to see the deeper issues at play. He recognized the necessity of protecting and conserving wildlife rather than hunting it. This transformation from hunter to conservationist led him to become a pioneering advocate for wildlife conservation in India, and he played a significant role in the establishment of India's first national park, now known as the Jim Corbett National Park. The tale of the Champawat tiger also changed attitudes beyond the borders of India. It served as a wake-up call to the world about the delicate balance between humans and nature. It drove home the message that human actions have consequences and that we share this world with a myriad of other creatures. We are all part of the same intricate web of life and the actions of one can affect the survival of many. The tale of the Champawat tiger compels us to ponder upon the delicate balance between man and nature. It's a tale that continues to resonate, reminding us of the importance of coexistence and the dire consequences of disrupting nature's equilibrium. The story of the Champawat tiger is more than just a tale of terror. It is a poignant reminder of the complex dance between man and beast, a dance that has been going on since time immemorial. The tale underscores the struggle for survival, not just of the tiger, but of the humans who lived in constant fear of becoming its next meal. In a world that is increasingly encroaching upon the natural habitats of these majestic creatures, 
The story of the Champawat tiger is a stark reminder of the human-animal conflict. It forces us to question, can we coexist in harmony with nature, or are we destined to live in a state of perpetual conflict? The story also underscores the importance of conservation. By preserving these creatures and their habitats, we not only ensure their survival, but also maintain the delicate balance of our ecosystem. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more captivating stories from the annals of history.